Let's take a look at three simple, quick and powerful shading techniques in Adobe Animate. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. Today we're taking a look at some different shading techniques. I'll take you through each of these three techniques one by one and explain their benefits and downfalls as we go. So let's jump right into the first one, which is the pencil tool technique. Now we have our character here all on one layer and nicely animated, quite a simple one. I'm only going to show you one frame per technique because there's no point showing several uh, to keep the video nice and short. So we have our character on a single layer like so. Everything's selected and drawn with the paintbrush tool. I'm going to grab my pencil tool with the shortcut Y or just by clicking it in the toolbar here. And with a nice bold and easy to see line color such as bright red, what I'm actually going to do is just draw over the sections that I want to be in shadow. So this sort of filled section here, I'd like to be in shadow. So I'm just going to make sure that my line goes over all of my brushwork. We'll do the same thing here, down this arm like so. That kind of messed up a bit, so we'll try that again. And perhaps we'll do the same down this piece of trousers here. And that's probably it. For the light areas, we'll do the exact same thing. So I'd like a little bit of a highlight on this side of his head. We'd like a smaller highlight going down his arm, like so. And maybe we'd like just a little bit of a highlight there on his leg. Additionally, we might want a shadow there, like so as well. Now, this is our guidelines for what we're going to use for the shading technique. So I'm going to grab my t-shirt color, for example. I'm going to go to my color palette here, and I'm just going to choose a darker version of that same color. And with the paint bucket tool, I can now quickly and easily fill in these shadowed sections. Do the same thing for the jeans. Let's choose a nice dark blue, something like that, and we'll fill in that shadowed section. Let's choose a darker color for the skin as well and we'll pop those colors in like that. And now let's do the same thing, but for the light. So we'll take this, I think, yellowish color here, and we'll do that for the skin on both sides of the highlight. We'll do the same thing for the t-shirt, but we'll just choose a nice brighter color, maybe something like this, uh, maybe something brighter than that. The benefit of this technique, of course, is that you can choose any color that you want from the color palette or indeed complete a uh, completely new color instead. I'll use the same color for the jeans just for quickness. Now, if you want to get rid of all of these strokes, you could just double click them and it will select all the connected parts or you can just scribble over everything like I do here. And then when you double click, it will select everything. You can hit delete and there you have your shaded character. One issue with this is that it is still frame by frame, but hey, that's what animating is, right? Frame by frame. So technique number one, using the pencil tool and then the paint bucket to fill in different areas of your animation. Let's move on to the second technique, which is using blending modes on different layers. So the second technique uses blending modes on separate layers. So I'm just gonna add a new layer on top and I'll call this one shading. Again, you'd wanna make sure that you're doing this frame by frame to make sure you get the correct shadows for each frame. All I'm gonna do in this one is the first frame. Let's choose white as our color. And on our layer, by selecting the layer itself down here in the palette, we're going to go to blend mode and we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. We're also going to go to color effects and we'll choose alpha and we'll drop it down to about 40%. Depends entirely on what kind of technique you want. The reason we choose overlay and you can see it's applied because of the white keyframes down here in the layers palette is because if you have black line work on your artwork, if you overlap it slightly, it does not show up on the black, which is really good news for us because it means we can use one color to create all of our highlights really simply. So we can just fill that in with a paint bucket tool there. Do the same thing on the jeans and you get a nice highlight layer. On the exact same layer, I'm gonna choose black. And of course, if you choose different colors for these, you can get different techniques. Um, but I'm gonna use white and black. On the, same black. on the same layer, I'm just gonna paint black over here and we get that nice shading moment like so. Obviously, if you don't have black line work, it is going to show up over that line work as well. But that just means you have to be either a little bit more accurate or you could do something using masks to make sure that that doesn't um, overlap unwanted areas. The massive benefit about this technique is that, of course, you don't have to waste time finding different colors. 
because it's all done using white and black on a single adjustment layer. Well, it's not really an adjustment layer, but we're using it like it is an adjustment layer, essentially. Now there I messed up because I forgot to go to my white pen to draw a little highlight in like so. But as you can see, that technique is much quicker than the other technique. And of course, if you go here, you can increase the power of your shading just by dragging this if you wanted to all the way up to say 100% and you get something quite extreme, and then you can drag it back down again. If you didn't want it to be too crazy, you could say perhaps drop it back down to about 60 or 50%, okay? For something a little bit less extreme. Awesome. That's the second technique, very quick and easy, this one. The final technique um, is gonna be quite a unique visual style, but it doesn't mean you have to do it frame by frame. You do it once for your entire animation or your entire section of animation, and that is using bevel and emboss believe it or not so finally then bevel and emboss okay i'm going to grab my body layer again the layer that we're applying this to here not the artwork and i'm going to go down to my filters menu here let's add a new filter and we're going to choose bevel now i'm just going to collapse color effects and blend so that my head isn't blocking any of the information okay so with that selected what we can do is just click your body layer like so and drag up the blur and you can start to see where we're going with this already. I'm gonna increase the distance, which is essentially the intensity of this technique. And I'm gonna leave that at about, let's say 30. And we'll put the blur up to about 60, I think. Somewhere around there. And let's change the angle so that the shading is in the right area, namely the other side of his face there. Now, obviously this is quite powerful at the moment. So we'll change the quality up to high to make sure that we're seeing what we want to see. And we can choose our shadow color. So this can be any color. Once again, I'm just gonna choose black, but please do play around with other colors. I'll choose black, but we don't want 100% black. We want maybe, let's say 40% black. That looks much nicer. Same thing with the white. We don't want 100% white. Let's say maybe 50% white. Boom. And there you have a nice little smooth type of shading. Obviously, if you wanted to crank it up a little bit, you could just increase the alpha of each of these. So let's go up another 10% roughly on each of them. And as you can see, you get a nice bit of shading. The great benefit about this technique is it does your entire animation for you, no frame by frame necessary. Of course, you can keep playing around with these settings as well if you wanted to increase the power of that. Additionally, you can try other filters. You know, you might want, for example, a drop shadow, which comes on the outside of your character, but then if you change your drop shadow to an inner shadow instead, let's just hide our bevel emboss so we just have the inner shadow. Our drop shadow is now an inner shadow that I can increase, and we get this kind of... Um, halo effect around the outside of our character. If you increase the distance, you can make that appear only on one side. Boom, you suddenly got shading just on one angle of your animation, like so. Again, I'm just using black, but you can play around with whatever colors you want. So there we have our three main techniques or simple techniques for coloring quickly in Adobe Animate. We have our pencil tool, which probably gives you the greatest flexibility, but also takes the greatest amount of time. You have the blending modes um, technique, which is slightly less creativity, and flexibility, but definitely much quicker. And we have the quicker technique of all, which is bevel and emboss, which gives you this kind of unique shading style, which is definitely the quickest of all, but has the least amount of flexibility. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, etc. I also have an Adobe Animate course available in the link in the description below at a website called bloopanimation.com. It's 60 bucks. It teaches you everything you need to know about Adobe Animate. So if you're interested and you're a beginner, please go and check that out. Otherwise, thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you next time for another episode of Tipped Up. Massive thank yous to my level two and above members, WN62, Ian Costello, Rob V, Jason Carroddy, MP, Art Viz, Love, Mel M. Hoover, Josh C, Ursula Fermanska, The Saucier, Lali Lulelo X, Andrew Hammond, Jenna Carey, Jarvis Animations, Ranaka M, Narain Abdilla, Barbara Reznor, Lone Wolf 16, Ira D, Political Psychology, Maybe Sharma, Cross, Kevin Murphy, Mariam Devar, Jeremy Stewart, Tim Fitzgerald, Lanita Cook, and Valeria Ashcraft. Valera Ashcraft. My apologies. You guys are super lovely. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If anyone else would like to become a member of the Tip Top Zone, you can click that join button below for exclusive perks. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.